Good afternoon, traders. It is Monday, April 10th, 2017. The U.S. stock market is closed. We had another one of those days. Um, certainly not severely negative at all, but nevertheless, slightly negative. And of course, this is hard because, we're, as I said before, we're not getting these big days, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollar winning days that all offset a whole bunch of the kind of days we had today. And so this represents just this slow erosion of our equity. It's very difficult psychologically to go through. I've been through this many times. It's psychologically difficult for me, and I'm certainly, I'm certain it's psychologically difficult for many of my customers. Regardless, um, we closed out negative two thousand dollars today. That's slightly better than what we had on our open trade equity on Friday. And we got into nine new positions, four are positive, five are negative, and we have just about positive $500 going into tomorrow. Uh, the, you know, it was a little frustrating. At one point, uh, that was up to $4,000, but uh, as we get toward the close, it just seems like everything gets a little bit worse. And you can see that here on the Dow. The Dow, uh, I can't even remember if I called it or not on Friday, but the Dow basically closed neutral, officially negative one. And you can see it's just it's a roller coaster pattern. It can't decide where it wants to go, so it just goes sideways and up and down. Uh, very difficult to trade that kind of market. We've had three of these, you know, consolidation sideways um, days with the Dow. And for that reason, I'm going to call it up for tomorrow. I mean, I think, obviously, it, it's not selling off. And I I think we we could get a breakout to the top here tomorrow or another day fairly soon. So uh, I will call up for tomorrow. I'll show you uh, a few of the trades we had today. I'll show you the spoiler. I mean, that's a problem. We get spoilers every day, and so nothing much happens. This is um, Goldfield Corporation. I don't know if we've even had a trade in this uh, stock since I put it in the portfolio. I'm looking at this chart and thinking this stock needs to be put on the chopping block. It's not doing, it's not acting like it's going to do anything but cost us money. And it did cost us money today. Um, it jumped up here and we bought not exactly the high ticket day but pretty close to it. And then it fails from there, and we got negative $2,000 open trade equity in Goldfield. And that's offsetting, you know, our small profits that we had today. I do have two good uh, trades that we got into. Uh, this is Momo Corporation, and uh, this has been pretty good to us. I wish all our stocks were like this. Anyway, uh, we got we got a you know a halfway decent profit there um, three days ago. Got out on Friday and then we got in today uh, right out of the gate and did pull back a little here, but we still have uh, fifteen hundred dollars in Momo Corporation and then. Um, Another really good one here is Asperian Therapeutics. And by the way, I, you know, my back testing is, I mean, you can't believe how good this thing has been recently. And it's 
you know, we've gotten a couple good trades out since we got into it. I would have liked to have had some of those trades back, of, you know, four or five weeks ago. But anyway, we got into this again. Uh, uh, first 45 minutes, we did a nice move here. It did pull back some, but even with the pullback, hey, I just realized that chart isn't all here. Okay, there's the whole chart. Um, even with this little bit of a pullback here at the end, we have $2,000 positive in Asperian, so that looks real good. Anyway, let's hope we get some action here pretty soon. This is Trader Bob signing off. I will be back here tomorrow on Tuesday.